Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Quality Control Channel by Presto. And I am Vishal Malhotra, your quality coach to help you with making the right choices for your lab instruments. Today I'm going to showcase to you the difference between an analog bursting strength tester and a digital bursting strength tester. These two instruments are so important and critical for our laboratory and it becomes very difficult to decide whether we should buy an analog bursting strength tester or a digital bursting strength tester. Well, uh, in one of our videos we did talk about the dial type analog bursting strength <coughs> tester. Here today we are going to showcase you the differences. Well, here is a sample that we have and I'm going to test it on a digital bursting strength tester. First, in fact, let's do it on the analog one. And here, I'm putting in the sample. We open the valve. And on a 0 to 35 kg per centimeter equipment, we are doing this test. Here is the burst test and the reading has come to about 7 kg per centimeter square. Now the same sample I'm going to put it in a digital bursting strength tester. We tighten the sample, press the start button. The reading is increasing now. And if you can see, we get a reading of 7.4 centimeter kg per centimeter square. Over there, we were getting a reading of 7 kg per centimeter square. Here, if you can see the accuracy, it is 7.4 kg per centimeter square. Now, if you are a converter or a corrugated box manufacturer, the accuracy is what is important. And over here, the error of the reading is so minimal. Also, another big advantage if you buy a digital bursting strength tester is you can calibrate it in-house. Though we give you a NABL traceable calibration certificate, you can still calibrate it in-house using aluminum foils purchased from us. So here was the difference between the two. I'm sure this video will help you take the right decision. If still you have any challenge, feel free to contact us at info at prestogroup.com and also subscribe below to our YouTube channel and we'll keep on aspiring to come up with very effective solutions and the right solutions to help you choose the correct testing instruments for your laboratory. Thank you so much.